when digital logic gates are made of BJTs, uh, it's called TTL gates or transistor transistor logic gates. Sometimes it's called T square L, which is also TTL. Now each of the TTL, each of the BJTs in a TTL logic gate uh, act as a acts as a switch. Either there, uh, so the transistor, each of the transistor. Uh, is either in cutoff or in saturation. So let's say we have a BJT here, a, a NPN transistor. This is our collector, this is base and this is emitter. Now this can act as a switch. Uh, this is R1. When the base emitter junction is forward biased, it can be driven into saturation by forward biasing the base. So we, if a positive voltage is applied at the base, the transistor can go into saturation and as a result VCE becomes approximately zero. Zero, it's close to zero. So uh, in digital logic it is for TTL, log, log, uh, TTL gates, TTL is TTL logic, uh, TT logic basically, anyway. so when it's close to uh, zero this is enough so what happens in TTL gates is let's say for input for input the range of zero or range of low is zero to up to 0.8 volts for input signal and high is 2 volts to 5 volts basically uh, sorry volts here and for output it's Five here and this one is 2.4 bit stricter and this one is 0.4 volts 0.4 to 0 is treated as uh, L or low and this is high both are high here so that's there so if the transistor is driven into saturation the tra it is acting as a switch so this is this switch is closed as a closed switch now so there will be a there will be an IC here. So if this is VC, the value of IC will be according to this arrangement. It will be IC is equal to VCC over R1, and VC will be approximately zero. This is happening when the transistor is driven into saturation. However, if the base voltage is uh, small or zero, let's say it's grounded, then what happens is the transistor is uh, in cutoff region. As a result there is no IC and it will act as a as an open switch VCE will be equal to VCC uh, so it the result uh, the current will be zero IC will be zero because there is no path for IC to flow so that's basically cutoff region so it can be so basically the bottom line is uh, the transistor can be driven into saturation or cutoff depending on the depending on the base voltage and as a result it can be used as a switch an open switch or a closed switch by applying the base voltage or making the base voltage zero or making the base voltage uh, high enough to for the base emitter junction to be forward biased so this is the logic behind uh, using a transistor as a switch and gate i mean this is in a very in in brief this briefly basically so what i will do uh, in the next video i will look into the design of a of a not get using ttl uh, transistor transistor logic so yeah